Okay, if you want your makeup to last all day, your base, I would recommend using a really good primer. The one that I'm going to use is the Clarins Beauty Flash Balm, which I really, really like. Um, I just think that it really does improve the staying power of any foundation that I use on top of it. Um, you just swipe it all over your face, you're not supposed to rub it in specifically, and then you can apply your makeup straight away. Next I'm going to use my Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum, which is the shade 51. And the reason I'm using this is I find it wears really well on my face throughout the day, and I just apply it with my fingers. Next I'm going to use the Long Lasting Perfection Concealer, or whatever it's called, um, from Collection 2000, and I'm just going to use this under my eyes. With the same concealer, I'm just going to go over any redness or blemishes. And I'm just going to powder to set all of that. The lighting has just gone really terrible suddenly, so hopefully it's not too bad and you can still see everything. Um, next I'm going to bronze, and this is going to be my daytime bronze. I've got another bronzer for nighttime, and this is the Bourjois um, Delis de Poudre, the chocolate bronzer that we all know and I'm just going to kind of contour and bronze a little bit for the daytime with this. I'm going to use this blush by Next, which again, you can't see very well, apologies. But there are lots of photos on my blog that I'll link below. I'm going to use this blush because it's really, really sheer and you can build it up really nicely. So I can put it on for daytime and then when I layer it up for nighttime, I'm not going to go too overboard. Okay, so that's pretty much my base done. This is going to be kind of what I build upon with uh, my nighttime look later on. I'm going to do my eyes now and um, pretty much not going to touch my face at all until we top it up for the nighttime. Okay, move the camera and hopefully this is a little bit clearer for you. Um, I'm going to use Velvet Revolver by Too Faced, this one, for my eyebrows. It's just my um, brow powder of choice at the moment. Then I'm going to use an eyeshadow primer, which is this one from Urban Decay. It's the shadow potion, and the one that I have is in Sin, which has a little bit of colour to it, but very, very little. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that. Okay, the eyeshadow I'm going to use on my eyes is from the next golden palette, which is this one. I'll show you inside it. It has four eyeshadow shades and a lip gloss. And they're all quite neutral, golden kind of shades, obviously. I'm going to start with the amber colour, which is this one here. And I'm going to sweep that over my lids. And I'm going to put that down as a base. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the bronze colour, which is the slightly deeper brown. And I'm going to use this pencil brush to put it into my crease. It's going to be a really, really subtle, defined crease because there's really not a tremendous amount of difference in the depth of these two colours. That's actually all I'm going to do for the shadow. I'm going to use this Collection 2000 Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner um, in black and I'm going to just put on kind of a, an upper liquid line. And I'm going to finish off with this next volumizing mascara, which I've got to admit, I didn't think I was going to like. I'm very, very picky when it comes to mascaras, but I actually really, really like this. It's got a really thick brush, which is not something that I normally go for um, or enjoy in a mascara, but this is actually really, really nice. For my lips, I'm going to use this High Shine Lip Gloss from Next, which I don't believe has a shade name. I can't find one anywhere, um, but if you know different, then please let me know, because I can't see one anywhere on there. But it's basically a pink um, that's like got a real good amount of shimmer in it for the daytime, but I don't think it's really a nighttime shade. I think for a nighttime, I would either go nude or a pop of colour, and I think this is really nice for daytime. It also smells 
so nice. It's kind of like caramel or vanilla. It's just a really, really sweet smell. So if you like that kind of thing, you will love this. It's almost toffee, I can't tell, but it smells really nice. It's really, really sheer, the lips, and pretty much everything's kind of daytime. So this is my daytime look. Um, this is probably a really similar look to what I would wear during the day anyway. Um, but I'm probably going to take you somewhere else for the evening. For the evening. I'm going to take you somewhere else to show you how to transition this for the evening. Um, for one, because it's nice for a change of scenery, and for another, because the lighting in here really sucks. And I'm going to chase down some better lighting in this house. Okay, I did find some better lighting. You may recognise the backdrop behind me. Um, unfortunately, it's the warmest room in the house, so this is going to be quick because I'm going to melt in this weather. Um, okay, so we have the daytime look and now we're going to transition it into the evening. Generally, that for me means um, going more dramatic with the eyes and a paler nude lip. I'm also going to show you an optional bright lip, um, but it's up to you which way you want to go. You could just go from what you've got right now to a big bright lip, but I like to kind of really play up my eyes for the evening. First, I'm going to show you this bronzer, which is also from Next and it's a little bit dirty because I have used it a few times um, but this is what I was talking about um, my daytime bronzer, I would prefer that to be matte or satin at most whereas this is really super shimmery which is nice for the evening time but um, I definitely wouldn't wear it during the day but that's completely up to you now I'm going to go for these kind of paler shades up here because I'm going to use this as more of a, a sheen on the tops of my cheekbones I'm also going to go a little bit heavier with that same blush I used earlier And I'm going to go back into my eyes, so I'll zoom in, and I'm going to use this deep, deep brown, this Aztec colour. I'm just going to go a little bit more dramatic with the crease, and up onto my brow bone. I'm then going to use this white gold, which is a really gorgeous colour. It looks white, but it's actually a really pale cream kind of shimmer. And I'm going to use that on the inner corners, and just to highlight underneath my brows. Lastly, I'm going to take that dark Aztec shade and I'm going to bring that underneath my eyes. Just to kind of the halfway point to meet that white gold highlight. I'm going to use another layer of mascara. And I'm also going to go underneath on my bottom lashes as well. That's pretty much the makeup look done, um, all but for my lips of course. I am going to put on some false lashes, these are optional, but I thought I would just add that little extra glamour to the nighttime look. Okay, so I have the false lashes on. I didn't want to film putting them on because they are brand new to me. I haven't used this brand before and I don't generally put on false eyelashes. I didn't know how well it was going to go, but I did film um, doing it. And I'm going to put that up as a separate video, like a first impressions, application, etc. This video is already going to be long enough, um, so I didn't want to kind of bulk that out. But I was using the Kiss Easy Play Strings um, in 56332, I think they are called, these ones. Um, and I really, really like them. I don't like the glue that comes with them because you can see it. You can see that white glue there. But otherwise, really, really dramatic. And yeah, they just kind of set off the evening look. So this is my look. I'm going to then go on to lips because we've done the cheeks, we've done the face, we've done the eyes and for the lips I would generally go nude with something as dramatic as this on my eyes so this one I have from Next, again a high shine lip gloss but again I don't know what it's called and again it smells amazing oh, I wish I knew what that smelled like, it's like a wet and wild lip product I had ages ago but both the lip glosses from Next that I have are very sheer and this one is just the hint of nude in a clear gloss really. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is my nighttime look. I'm going to just show you um, a quick kind of alternate look with um, a red lip just because sometimes we want a red lip, sometimes we want to go just that little bit more nighttime. Um, but otherwise this is it and I think that that little kit, wherever it is, and I think that this little kit is really really good for four pounds it also has a lip gloss but I must admit I'm not the massivest fan of this lip gloss because it's really quite I'll show you 
it's just not my shade whereas for some of you this would be amazing um, it's just quite bronze and on such a pale complexion as I have I'm not a big fan but it might be nice like mixed with the lip gloss that I have on now or with another colour just as a little bit of metallic sheen but I wouldn't wear it on its own it's just not me um, but yeah I really like the little compact idea of it. I think it's great for your handbag, especially the transition from day to night, a really good one um, if you're travelling or just to keep in your desk drawer at work. Uh, but I'm going to show you the red lip now. And the red that I used was the Miner's Matte Factor in, what one is this called? Deep Red. <laughs> in Deep Red. Really, really like this. Stays on all day because it's matte and um, really easy to apply. Just great for the evening because you can eat and drink and it doesn't rub off. Uh, so if you are going to go for a lip colour, I would go for something matte or something stay on. Um, like this or you know a gloss that doesn't matter quite so much if you have to reapply it and you can't tell so much when it smudges like the nude one from next um, but I hope you enjoyed this video it's kind of different to the kind of video that I normally film so let me know if you like this kind of format and I'll do more of them um, but yeah I'll go and do some other videos for you now thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye